Today we're going to take a look at how to create a form in Google Drive. This has been updated so we're creating a new set of directions. So you'll want to go to drive.google.com, make sure you log in, and once you have done that, you're going to come over to the Create button, and we're going to create a form. So in this case we're going to use Assessment Form. I'm going to choose Default. I could choose um, a different theme. I do want to give this a title, so this is going to be Form Number 2, since I created one earlier today. So there we see that title. If we did want to change that, we could go ahead and do that here. In our form description, this might be a good place if we want to give directions to our students. And so when we have our first question already laid out for us, I'm just going to keep it generic. Question one is dot, dot, dot. We can put in any sort of help text that we want to. And then we can choose the type of question that we want. And you can see we have a variety. We have text, paragraph text, which just gives you um, a wider, you know, bigger space to it put your answer into. Multiple choice, check boxes, choose from a list, scale, or grid. I'm going to go ahead and choose paragraph text. This is really good if, you again, you want something that's a short answer or if you just want something that's numeric or you want students to write out a formula, anything like that. So we go ahead and we entered our data. We can require this if we want to. And if we're all done, we could hit done, but if we want to add more questions to our form, we go ahead and choose add item. So in this case, I'm going to choose multiple choice. So I'm just going to put in question two, dot, dot, dot. Putting in any help text that we want. I can check this box to go to a page based on your answer. And you can have that happen where we then skip to a further page. I'm going to keep it simple, which I think most people will do. And I'm just going to go ahead and put some answers in here. So this will be A, this will be B, C, and D. Obviously, in the classroom, these would be much more detailed. But for our purposes today, it'll do the trick. So again, you can add more questions if you want, but if you're all done with your form and the way you want it, go ahead and click Done. And then you're going to get to your confirmation page. This is what's going to show up after the students have completed the form. So you can alter this message right here. You can They give you this box checked, Show Link to Submit Another Response. I like to leave that checked because if you're in a classroom where you're not in a one-to-one -one setting where you have students sharing computers, they can then, the next student simply come up click that link and it'll take them right in, into the form so they can fill that out. And I would probably go ahead and leave the other two unchecked. So when you're all finished, go ahead and do send form. And so this is where you're going to be able to now grab the link. So if you wanted to copy and paste that um, onto a blog or onto your website, you could do that. Or you could go ahead and do embed code. So if you want to embed this on a blog or on your website, you could go there too. And so we can always go back and edit the form a little bit more. But the cool thing is now I can choose a response destination. So where do we want this data to go? By default, it's going to want to create a spreadsheet for you. You can name that spreadsheet if you want to. Um, I always like to just put it in that new sheet. You could put an existing spreadsheet if you wanted to do that. But for our purposes and to keep it simple today, I think keeping them separate is a good idea. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Create. So now we're all done um, with our form. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to bounce back into our drive and just show you an example of, here is one where for form number, there is form number two, all of our responses show up here, that's going to be blank. Now I'm going to bring up one here. This is all of our responses to form one. So you can see here I had four students respond. They kind of put their answers in. So as a teacher, I can very quickly see um, what is happening, you know, as far as my students are, they understanding the concept. So we'll record all that data there, but the cool thing is now, if I go back to my original Form 1, um, and this is new in the update, I can actually go to a summary of responses, and now I can just really quickly, not even in that spreadsheet form, kind of see how my students responded. So it makes it really quick and easy to go ahead and get quick data that I can then use in my classroom. So that was just a quick rundown of some basic um, ways to use the Google Form. And if you have further questions, please let me know.